New old trains could soon be pulling into the station at Green Bay's Bay Beach Amusement Park. The Parks Committee for the City kept that possibility on track tonight. Here's what's going on. A family from southeast Wisconsin wants to donate three train cars and some track to the amusement park. Kelly Schlicht has the details in tonight's Fox 11 follow-up. With a round of applause almost as loud as the roar of an engine, the Green Bay Parks Committee welcomed a donation of three new trains and 3,000 feet of track. The baby just was great. We thought, what a great fit. It looked like the right size. So it was a way to continue uh, allowing people to enjoy the, the uh, train. Meet Paul Welbing. His family owns Karma Laboratories, the makers of Carmax. His father also owned these trains. Now that both his parents have died, Welbing wants a new home for his father's favorite possession. We could have sold the train off, but my brother and I thought, really, more of a continuation of what my dad was about would be to donate it. And I became aware of Bay Beach through the Zip and Pippin project. The city was on track to expand the tracks here at Bay Beach already this fall. So what will happen to that plan if the trains are donated? Well, the tracks are expected to go west in the new area of the park and the new expansion area and um, it could be that they may go further I'm, I'm just not sure about it but there's going to be plenty of track and other equipment to expand it the friends of bay beach will pay twenty thousand dollars for a contractor to disassemble the track parks employees will go to franklin to pick up the donation the city estimates the cost for fuel at around eleven hundred dollars Friends of Bay Beach say the donation will make the expansion more affordable. With the price of steel now, I think it definitely will be. Welbing says he hopes his father's train will keep more kids riding the rails for generations to come. Kelly Schlicht, Fox 11 News. Now the city council members will still have to approve the donation at its next meeting next week. The donated trains and track are valued at nearly a quarter million dollars.